Hello and welcome back to another video on the creator how-to series with building your very first application. So where we left off last time was we created a form and with that form uh, we added some fields but we, we really didn't customize them. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to actually go ahead and go back into the edit mode and customize this form a little bit. As you can see, we have some names here, multi-line, single line, and just all the default names here. So let's go ahead and go flip back into our edit mode. And how you would do that is you can select this, edit this application button here. But typically what I like to do is have two windows open at the same time. So I can flip back and forth and then just refresh, uh, refresh my live application page. Um, so what we'll do is we will just right click on this and open it in a new, uh, op open this in a new tab. Um, and that way you can quickly flip back and forth uh, between your live version and your edit mode. So now that we're back in the edit mode, we want to go ahead and open the form builder and here is the list of the fields that are on the form that we created. And now let's talk a little bit about some of the options here that we have on the right hand side. We have a field name and a field link name. So the difference between the two of these fields is this is what will be visually displayed to the end user of the application and the field link name is, or what is currently referred to as the API name. Um, is used so when we're writing in code we can we actually reference this field link name um, we, we, we do not use the field name when we're actually writing code so again field name is just for uh, the the users and what they see and the field link name is going to be for uh, what we will use as we're writing our code Okay, we also have some validation. You can make it mandatory. Um, and this is typically, uh, with a few exceptions, just about every field you can make mandatory. Um, and now there are two different ways, primarily, that you can make fields mandatory. One being just checking this box that will make sure it's mandatory. And then what we, what we also have is a soft uh, required or soft mandatory that we would do in validation with code and we'll talk a little bit more about that later but for right now um, let's just go over the rest of these fields we have our display fields our prefix our first name our last name and our suffix now I have these off uh, now but you can also turn these on and then it gives you some choices that you can select for the prefix um, and for the suffix you can select that as well uh, down below that you have your data privacy so if this contains personal information then this will give you a little bit more information about it uh, we have our data security uh, we have our visibility now visibility we have two options here it, we want to show the field to everyone or we want to show it to the admin only this admin only option basically what this does is just allow you as the admin of the application or any other developers that you would have working on this to be the only ones to see this field whereas every other user of the application or if you're using it for a customer portal would not be able to see the field okay uh, down below that we have the appearance you can have some options here for field size and typically these are all the same for the majority of the fields you'll get different options dependent upon the type of field that you're choosing uh, but for, for the most part, they're, they're pretty standard. And we'll talk about those as we move along. But that's just to give you a quick overview of some of the options. So let's start by changing the name of the name field. And instead of name, we want to be a little bit more descriptive. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to type in username. Now, if you notice, I've just updated this. And I put a space in there, but the field link name has not changed. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click out anywhere outside of here. Even you can click down here, but I typically just like to click anywhere outside and you will see 
you'll see this trying to work. You'll see a notification symbol here trying to work as it changes the name. And let's do that now. And you can see. Now, I, up here I typed in username. Down here it put in user underscore name. Now, this is very important to note. This field link name does not necessarily need to always be the exact name of the field name. And the reason that is important is because there may be times that you don't like the way that you name something and you want to change it. So now that I've just named it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this again and I'm just going to put it back to name just to show you what happens. So I will take out user and I'll just put name. You'll see it saves. See that? Now, if you notice, it did not change the field link name. That typically only happens the first time that you enter. It will go ahead and do it for you. So what's important here to remember as you're going through this series is it's typically not a good idea to change the API name or the field link name especially once you have code inside the system as this has the chance to break your application not in all cases um, primarily for the most part it does update throughout the application when you change the API name but there just may be somewhere that this might be hard coded depending on how far you get or how advanced you get that it is likely to cause problems so as a good rule of thumb it's never a good idea to uh, change the API name once you set it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back to username. Okay. And you'll see it's saving again. It's saved. Now you see here it put username one. So the reason why it has put username one is because we've confused it. So we went ahead and we've changed that back to username. Uh, now what we're going to do is let's go ahead and just complete the rest of the field names. So what we'll do is we'll change the name here to a user email. User phone. Now if you see here this says phone number. You see it is different. We're just going to put user. Here we're going to put, now this has a date and a date field. What we're going to do is we're just going to put date and we'll go ahead and put added. And there is also a system field that is added um, and we'll talk more about that in a bit. For the multi-line we will call this notes or rather user notes. And for the single line, we are going to add a user title. Now there's one field I didn't add here initially that we're just gonna go ahead and bring in now. So we're gonna actually grab in a dropdown. So just pull that over and let's actually put it right above date added. Okay, now if you notice with the dropdown, we have some different choices here and We'll go ahead and fill these in here in a second, but first let's give it a name. And what we want to do is we want to add some sort of a status here that shows if our user is active or not. So we'll go ahead and put user status. And now when it comes down to our choices, we have a plus symbol to add a minus symbol to delete and a rename field. So we have three default choices here. Um, you can also use some predefined choices here, but for the purpose of this, we're just going to go ahead and fill this in right now. So we want to know what the user status is active or inactive. So for right now, we'll just remove one and then we'll go ahead and change the name here. We'll give it an active status. And for the second one, we'll give this an inactive status. Okay, very good. So now we have filled in 
all of our field names and call them what we wanted to. We can scroll through them, make sure everything looks good. We see all our field link names or API names have been set correctly. Everything looks good. And I think this is a good stopping place right now. And in the next video, we will finally start to get into some of the fun stuff and start to code. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this coming your way.